Bear it on with crafts and bear. Start the painting with a foundation of black. Put the barrel on a cork or something alike. Make it easier to paint. You can use glue tack to make it stick. Paint the board separate on the keg. Go a second round and paint a thinner stroke in the middle of each plank. This time I paint the barrels with a light source in mind from above, so I paint the bottom with a darker color. And do as earlier, paint the board separate. And of course, a lighter brown on top of the cask. Make some thinner stripes on the boards in the middle of the hog's head with the ochre brown. Thin out the orange brown with water and let the top get some of that tone. Time to dip that butt in the red. Make it shine as new later on. When the red is dried, time for some dry brush with linen, or maybe a color of more yellow tone, like French vanilla. Use a dark brown between the boards. Thin it out and add some veins on the cask as well. and some black between the boards at the bottom.
Time for a wash to bind the colors. The steel serps for the ton is made of rough watercolor paper. There is some texture in it that I think fit the cause. A blend black with a generous pool of water to make it thin enough. Cut the few stripes in the side width. You might want to have three broader ones or five even thinner ones. What do you think look best? Glue them on place and don't forget the cork in the middle of the barrel or the axe and the crack in that hog's head will be one of the limited choices to get a taste of that ale. Take some brown and black, water it down to darken the cake under the stripes and where you think fits. Well, that was one way to paint a barrel. Two more to go. Same technique is used but with fewer colors. Paint those boards separate and keep the top light and bottom dark. Remember to paint the space between the boards with some darker colors. And dry brush. A good wash with Vallejo's Maron Brown. And to get that yellow tone, thin out ochre brown with water. Around 8.44 you can see how to add the stripes and what to use. And as I said earlier, I used watered down black for this, but I reckon a good silver paint fit good as well, depend on what look you're after.
And now it's time for that old rusty barrel. Be sure to hit all boards with paint. You might want to paint a thicker layer on top while letting the black shine through down the bottom. And to the dry brush. Make the top lighter and if you crafted a barrel with the lid on the side as I did here, don't forget to leave out for the shadow below it. A nice blackened wash to get that tar feeling and older look later on. A marron brown wash to get that dirty wood feeling back. The light grey dot the eyes and cross the T's. The stripes on this old barrel is painted black that most likely been tainted from tar all these years. Burnt sienna is what I use for the rust. But I know there is good rust paints out there, just haven't come around to buy any yet. Well, I guess that's that. Everything in place. And don't forget to paint the bottom black to make it complete. And now as always, beard on and craft.